I say, do you know who I am? I'm Dan's. Dan's Maria. You know, the author. Famous author. Have you heard of me? No? Well, anyway, whatever. Right, now, I'm into hops. Writing a book on them, in fact. Much maligned they are, hops. And not nearly as bad as people make out. But I need to learn more, so I've decided I shall live with them for a while, study them, be friends with them. I'm sure I can do it. All they need is a little love and understanding. Will you take me to one of their caves, make sure I get there safely? You will? Oh, that's great! Oh, how exciting! I can't wait to meet my new friends. Absolutely fascinating, Hobbs. I'm betting they can be reasoned with, if they're shown a bit of respect. Maybe once I've written this book, people will see Hobbs in a new light. They could come and live in our towns. In our homes, even. Oh, wouldn't that be wonderful? Have you read my last book? It's about puffins. Uh, undead puffins. <laughs> cool, eh? If you buy my books, I'll sign them for you. How about that, eh? Ideas. Welcome. Some say the Western Ocean is vast and pretty much empty. Just a few islands dotted about. <laughs> I say that is not true. There is a great undiscovered continent out there, and I aim to find it. The trouble is, a maritime expedition like that costs money, lots of money, for the crew, the navigation equipment, the supplies, oh, and the boat. <laughs> No way to do it without a boat. This sort of endeavor requires the patronage of a monarch. Uh, what about it, Your Majesty? Uh, 
not only will you benefit from any discoveries I might make, you will also be expanding the sum of human knowledge. This is a great day for me, and so shall it be for you. My gratitude is as boundless as the ocean, uh, which it actually is bounded on the other side by a new continent, as I mentioned. <laughs> but thank you. I shall set sail as soon as possible. Business has been booming recently. I Your Majesty, I'm sure you could do it. There's this wise man who lives in the desert. He's prophetic, really kind of a hermit. We call him the prophetic hermit. Anyway, he has gifts. He can see the future and talk to the dead. Like this brain in this jar, it's dead. He could communicate with it and dispense its wisdom. I'd deliver it myself, but the deserts got so dangerous recently, I wouldn't make it alive. You, though, Your Majesty, you're a hero. You could get through. It would cause you no trouble. Will you take the brain for us? You'd win over some of the Prophet's followers if you did. And he has many. And there is so much demand. Excellent. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'm sure his predictions will prove useful. It's buried out there somewhere. I know it is. Somewhere in the world. 